Evan, you have you anything for us? Um, well, what I'm going to talk about is some of you has may have seen that I've been writing on assessments, autism assessments that have not been going on in the country. Um, I've spoke, I've spoke to numerous parents that have been on wait, their kids have been on waiting lists years, and I car- currently have a counsellor that's actually looking into this and is doing background work on it, Ashleen Morn. So she's um, she's researching that for me. But I've contacted numerous ministers. Nobody's gotten back. And what the way I'm seeing it is, I'm 17. Why should I have to look into this? Why can't the government do something? There's years waiting lists on this, mm-hmm. like, and people have to wait plenty more years. And if they don't get these assessments um, and be diagnosed with autism, etc., how can they actually be put into a class to be helped and get the needs that they need? Like, so you're just you're just looking at the numbers of children on a waiting list for a diagnosis of of ASD. Yep. Like, okay. there's ninety one percent of families haven't been um, helped by two that I have reached out to two that have got no help at all. That's, I know I have an autistic child. Um, I haven't said that to you before, Evan. John knows, and I've I've been homeschooling him for two and a half years because we've had problems. I am over nine years waiting on a psychologist. I paid and went private this week. Um, I had his assessment initially done and paid for privately um, to get him access to services because you cannot access services without a diagnosis and then you're into a waiting list for services and the early intervention like the preschool Mm. I don't think there even is one anymore in Port Leash and I could be corrected on that I'm a few years up from that Um, but I also know Historically, you'll tell me if it's different now. Leash has one of the highest, if not the highest, incidents or numbers of autistic children in the country and has no psychologist. I've been told there is no psychologist in this county. There's not in Leash, no. No, or awfully for that matter, as far as I'm aware. There was one. Um, I think she went on maternity leave. I could be wrong. And You're not wrong. They wouldn't. They wouldn't replace her. No, but she went on maternity leave a few years ago and she actually wouldn't see children. They would only see parents and offered a group workshop to parents. And you walked away with some leaflets with suggestions. A waste of time, basically. Yeah, yeah, precisely. Like, and with some of these assessments, they're looking at the kids and it's like, yeah, go on, there's nothing wrong with them. Like, I was told there was nothing wrong with my child. That's why I went privately. Personally, my my youngest brother um currently waiting on an assessment and it's clear enough that there's something something there. But went through his primary school, they wouldn't do anything firm. Wow. Contacted numerous people, won't do anything firm. There's going to be years of waiting lists. He's gone into secondary school in um September and he can't be put into a class till He's diagnosed. He can't get help. And you won't get him into a unit, into an autism unit for a secondary school either, without a diagnosis. Yeah, it's we terrible. talked to the principal of my school about it. He says he would if he could, but he couldn't. Yeah. Um, Ashleen Morn is helping with this. She's amazing. Yeah, she's done a lot of work that doesn't go public. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, but I mean, no, I mean, credit where it's due. If she's doing, if she's doing the work, that people know. That people know. I mean, it 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 is crazy. I mean, you know, I, I'd be a positive person, but you know, this this is outrageous. Well, this is outrageous. We, we, I mean, we we have one, on one hand a digital divide, then we have this issue that there is a non-issue just fund the system 
assess who looks for an assessment and, and, and provide the services for these children. As a republic, we're supposed to cherish all our children. And it's all not citizens happening. citizens equally. Yeah. yeah. Well, in December-ish of 2019, LOFA, which is Leash Offaly Families for Autism, met with all the politicians in the parish centre in Port Leash. And they all attended. And the psychology thing would be a big because mm-hmm. why does the county with the most amount of autistic children not have a psychologist? Um, and, um, do you know, I haven't heard anything of any action that has happened. And the result of this will be mm. that my son, Evan's brother and other people who are autistic and don't get early intervention or any intervention will not be able to judge a situation socially, mentally, um, can be violent. Um, I sometimes, and and people probably notice, I have to mute myself here sometimes because my young guy can be fairly violent physically and um, verbally. And do you know what? He would cost the state, now hopefully touch wood, they would cost the state an awful lot more money when they have to go into either a mental institution or the prison because they don't understand that hurting people doesn't mean they can't come back because they won't understand the repercussions yeah, of, it's, you know, harming somebody because they don't believe they could come back. I, am, I don't want to be too yeah, graphic, but they don't have a stop, you yeah, know. And when my child is in angry mode, if you want to call it that, or when, when he flips out completely and he really does, he doesn't actually, it's like a white anger. He doesn't remember anything he as a result of that he's very frustrated or it manifests as Mm -hmm. frustration and anger he needs somebody to teach him how to deal with his emotions throw onto the top of that for the laugh he's 14 and i have a hormonal teenager and he now weighs more than i do and is not responsible for his actions when he reaches a level of anger now, that wouldn't happen if the services were in place. And I blame the state directly and the HSC for that directly. Like, Evan's in a worse place, I think. If I'm 17 and I can see there's a problem, why yeah. can't Evan do that? Because they don't want to. But this is, now think about it. This is affecting directly 50% of our panel this evening. Straight away. Yeah. yeah. But straight away, I mean, like like the, the politicians met with LOFA in the Paris Centre in December. Like, 19. Yes. 19, not 20. I know, 19. 2019. A year and, and two months ago. And you're, I, and you're still waiting. I contacted the Minister for Disability and told her the whole situation, said I wanted answers. All I got back was, that's an interesting topic. We'll look into it. Wow. But, but it's not an interesting topic. What you're doing is you're consigning a generation of children. Basically, you're blocking their progress. You're blocking their treatment. You're blocking their potential. You're blocking, you're blocking all that wonderful, wonderful talent and talents that they have from flowering. It's, well, it's, I met my child's senior mm. infant primary school teacher last week. She, she's since retired and I won't name her, Um, Mm. and she said the child she knew at six years of age should have been in secondary school with friends by now. He hasn't a single friend, and there is no way he could cope at this moment with secondary school, emotionally, mentally, physically, academically, because he was held back through bullying and isolation. Kieran. And he didn't have the wherewithal to express that yeah. before it became too much of a problem. Kieran, it's 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 upsetting when you think about it. Oh, it is. It's it's um, it's, 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 it's difficult to, to to listen to. You know, and uh, you can only imagine what what, mm. what families are, are are going through. Um, 
But I think it's important that, you know, just all of the topics that, you, that you've covered tonight from mm. you know, you, you, you're talking about your, your bus service and your broadband, which are very important topics. But this is, is obviously the most important topic. Yes. I think it's you're doing great service. And hopefully, hopefully that, that, that you can start to get some answers as to why, you know, leash are, are, are neglected uh, in terms of, of the help that, that, that is needed for families. You know, it's, it's, it's really shocking. Um, but historically, Kieran, I mean, let's call a spade a spade. Leash has been down the, the list of priorities for decades. And I, 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 would, I would say successive governments took, took the county for granted because um, you would have a certain core Fianna Fáil vote, certain core Fianna Gael vote, a small floating vote. So they knew, OK, we don't really have to do very much. We're guaranteed a vote at the polling station. So can I ask Evan, say I have, and I'll, I'll give you details of who I've contacted and I'm going privately through lack of choice, but your brother needs to start secondary school with some form of services, be it SNA. Um, and can I tell you, he, if you do get an SNA, you'd be lucky if he gets a shared SNA, as in he might get 20 minutes to a half an hour or 45 minutes a day. Um, he needs a schedule put in place. Um, he needs to know, uh, he needs to have a visual map, for lack of a better word, of what subjects are coming up for the day. Each subject gets colour coded and then the relevant books, say English is blue, then the English blue book has a blue sticker on the on the spine of it so he can relate. He needs to have a lot of things in place. It's January. What now, today, is your option for your brother? Like, my brother is going into secondary school in September, and he's the most harmless person going, nice as could be, like, and doesn't see any harm in anybody. And he can't understand why people are being mean to him. Yep. He, everything, and they just won't give him any help he needs, like. But also, that's the other thing. They're very vulnerable and they're very gullible. And when you go over there and and you go over there and push it, punch Evan in the face, he'll love it, and he'll do it. Mm. That's you know, exactly they have the no yeah. sense of right or wrong, and they're very vulnerable and very gullible. And if they get in, not even get in with the crowd, but if the crowd spot that that's a thing, unless the services are put in place, that's because that's what started with with mine apart yes. from the, the teachers thing that started with mine go over there and do that and then the teacher would chastise him because you can't be trusted so and those services need to be in place so mm -hmm. sorry evan they can be taken advantage of so easily so easily absolutely yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah. which is why i would like to i wonder as part of your research in this evan maybe i'll throw it out to you um, how many of the prisoners in the Midlands prison or in Port Leash prison are autistic? I've looked online um, for stats on this, mm. on different things. Cannot find anything. It's like the media don't want anything to do with it. The government don't want anything to do with it. The last, um, the last stats that there were on this in a census were over 10 years ago. Wow. Well, I, 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 sorry, sorry to cut in there. I just, I'm going to make a prediction now when you do do your research, and I know you, Evan, you, you'll do it thoroughly. I would say the prison population and the mental uh, institution population have completely flipped. Mm. Yeah. The mental, yeah. The, the mental services have been scaled back and scaled down. Um, yeah. That infrastructure has been pulled apart, basically. But of course, on the other end of the spectrum, the prison population has increased. Have escalated. Yes. Yeah. And, the and when they get into the prison, there's there's no services in there to help them with that to help them with that. And are they even recognised that they are autistic or whatever kind of another mental illness? And to just do complete devil's advocate, if they had had the early intervention that they should have had, would they have ended up there in the first place? Mm. These are very, very, very valid questions. 
I Where's, did get on Claire Byrne there, as you know, before Christmas, and I did. did get to discuss it slightly for a bit. And I discussed it from an anxiety point of view, in particular this year, because for an autistic children or child in our case, mm. um, you have COVID, obviously. You also have Trump. Then you have Biden because he's uncertain and you don't know who, what or where he is and where he's coming from. You have why am I die allowed out? Yes. Are my grandparents still alive? Yes. Can I not go to the cinema? Cinema in our house is huge. Yes. Um, and this is all going around in his head. So the anxiety levels then cause frustration and anger and, and violence and that we as non-psychological and non-qualified people have no idea how to deal with. The way I'm looking at this is I'm talking to you here. Before I came on, I didn't know anything about your life at all. And you're affect like you're affected by this, and I'm affected by this. But how many people are? Oh, I would say Evan uh, across the country, tens of thousands. Huge, and it's huge a huge cohort of the population. And Adam add- Harris. Mm-hmm. Adam Harris is Simon Harris's brother. He was the minister for health. Correct. I don't know because I'm not the political guru. Um, I don't know what he is now or where or what his position is now, but Adam is the brother and he is autistic and he has set up a page and a company called As I Am. Yes. And he's on Facebook and he offers a lot of supports. That could be something you might look into. I, but he also possibly could have stats or help with the start of your research. I've contacted them and I have got oh. I have got stats off them. Brilliant. That yeah. I need to develop into more. Yeah. And Did it will, help? It helped a bit, but not on what I want answered. Yeah. Yes. Like, I have the stats on the number of people that are waiting for places in ASD units, but I don't have the stats on how many people are actually waiting to be diagnosed. Yeah. It's... Well, I'm nine and a half years waiting on a psychologist. Throw that out there. Have you contacted LOFA? No, not only do you have to wait, you also have to worry about trying to pay for these assessments as well. Yeah. Oh, you're looking at about two grand to get an assessment. Yeah. You know, it's not cheap. Now, you get to the stage where you absolutely have no choice and you beg borrower still because you have to do it for your child. But you know what? It goes against the grain. And when you feel they don't want to give you this diagnosis, and in my case, and in a lot of people's cases, they try and tell you your child's not autistic. I'd like people to realize that it completely goes against the grain to try to prove and fight to prove that there is something wrong with your child. And then when you get that diagnosis, a lot of people will sit there and just cry, not because there's something wrong with the child, because, oh, my God, I've been proven right. It's a relief. Yes. yes, I was right. Now let's do something. And there's nothing. Yes, but there's we, nothing. but Trudy, again and again and again and again, I'm, I'm a little bit older than you all, 52 now, and again and again and again, during all those decades I've been on this, uh, on this island and aware of what's going on around me, again and again and again and again and again, official Ireland, okay, do not provide the services, do not recognize that they're needed, do not do what they're supposed to do, essentially. We're one of the wealthiest countries on the planet. I, and the question has to be asked, why? Why weren't those services in place? Why don't, didn't we have robust services in place before this pandemic uh, uh, started and piled on more anxiety and more pressure on this uh, cohort of our children that need help you look actually i was looking at a story the other day that up in dublin they're building a water rafting or something like that area right Mm. wow why are they putting money into building a water rafting area when that could be put towards helping kids get actually assessed and develop the country yeah can i ask a rhetorical question do I, the politician, get to cut a ribbon at that help for your autistic kids? Or do I get to cut a ribbon at a water rafting facility where I look great for camera? Yeah, that's but, exactly. Yeah, but see, that, 
Like, Sorry, Evan, go on. You're, not only do the parents have to worry about, oh, is my child going to get assessed? Are they going to get diagnosed? They also have the stress of trying to find the money to pay for this assessment. And yeah. then try to get them a place in school. And then that just opens a whole different door for mental health. And it's not helping anybody. Like. And if or when you get that diagnosis, I'll tell you about the amazing 307 or 9 euro a month I get to help towards his therapies. Um, started doing play therapy recently with the amazing sensational kids. I'm sure they won't mind, and I'm not saying it's excessive. It's 75 euros a week. That's my 300 euro gun. Now, don't get me wrong, that's valuable, but I haven't done speech, I haven't done OT, and yeah. I haven't done psychology. And my money mm. that they think I'm great, I should be grateful to get, and I am. And they think that that's enough. Now, that kind of, at the same time, I have a friend in Dublin who contacted me today, funny enough, Evan, and I didn't realize you were doing this. And she said, and I didn't know whether to kill her or hug her. Her child is after getting a phone call from her school saying, um, we're, we're really sorry we didn't contact you um, last week, but um, is it all right if we pass the details of if we pass your details on to a play therapist who will work with your child on a daily basis for free over Zoom from the school. Oh, that, Go that, figure. That service should be available in every school to That's every child. That's the point. I have no problem with that child getting that. I'm over the moon, but I'd love to kill her because it's not available I here. I know. And you see... Until you go through what you're going through, Evan, and until we you go through what you're going through, Trudy, okay, politicians, if they were going through this on a daily basis, would have the services in place like that. You better believe it. You better believe it. You better believe it. In the long term, John, to go back to the prison, cost them a hell of a lot more to put my son away in 10 years. See, yeah, but it, it's it's and all. I don't mean he'd be there. Yeah, <laughs> I but, just mean. But this 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 governmental kick the can down the road has been going on decades. Well, you're putting off you're putting off doing something about uh, the problem that's staring in your face, and as you put it off, the problem grows and grows and grows and grows and grows. This Absolutely. this this the program tonight is going to raise. The profile of this problem within our county it's a huge it's a huge problem i knew it was huge i did not realize that leash per capita has the worst uh, incidence of autism um per head of population didn't know that in in the country uh, this video is going to help is going to help start that conversation it's going to help and i will make sure i will keep on to our local politicians and national politicians and ask them the very simple question, when is it going to get sorted? Well, it's I not a case of when. Yeah, in, in Evan's case, this needs to be sorted before the end of the school year. Correct. That's Correct. the bottom line. I'm homeschooling my son and yeah. I can work at his pace. I've no choice. And yeah. for us, we're working at emotional regulation, anxiety and all of that. Yeah. Um, but Evan needs this sorted. Yeah. Well, I mean, just I'm going to I'm going to leave leave us all and our viewers with a little stat, uh, and it'll put everything into perspective. Apparently, Kieran, I don't know if you're aware of this, that every man, woman, and child on uh, in the state owes over forty seven thousand euro each. For what, John? <laughs> oh, the, it's the national, Kieran. It's the national debt. The national debt. And my answer to that is. Uh, we have to we have to look after all our children. Doesn't matter what house in the state they come out of. Doesn't matter what color skin they have. We're going to look after all our children. So my message to the government is: while you're borrowing money, keep borrowing it, and provide the services that are needed. Kieran, would would, would you agree? I'm putting you I'm putting you on the spot there. Well, I, I wasn't aware of those statistics. Um, yeah, no, it strikes me listening to, to, to you there and over the last few minutes that these are these are the issues, the great issues that, you know, the, the politicians should be faced with on the doorsteps in Leash, um, you know, when they come calling the next time. 
and hopefully they'll be they'll be you know well on the way to sorting the the two big issues that you that you raised there tonight um, with autism and with yeah. with, with, uh, with broadband connectivity and, and that because they're vital uh, they're vital. vital so yeah Here, here's hoping and uh, Evan if, if you want to come on every week and give us an update you're well, more than welcome me. you're more than welcome yeah, yeah that's it's brilliant because um, um, what it, I mean it, funny about it is if you left them, if you left these politicians, the government, etc., with these kids with autism, I'd say give it an hour and they wouldn't be able to handle them. No. Oh, I I dare them to sleep them in a room be, uh, tonight with mine because he's just kicked off, and I'd like to put somebody in a room with them and 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 lock the door <laughs> and say go solve that. But um. Yeah, Evan, do. John is right. Come back to us. Yep. And if there's anything that we can do, and if there's anyone who's listening that can help, and Councillor Moran is fabulous and she'll do work. And with a bit of luck, the others will come on board as well. They it's will. an urgent issue, but it's, it's not just issue. an urgent issue. It's an issue that's a long term urgent issue because if not dealt now, if not spend a bit of money now, it could be a bigger bill later. Exactly. Now, before I forget, speaking with councillors, we'd like to wish from the programme here, we'd like to wish uh, uh, recently retired councillor Tom Mulhall and his family all the best. Unfortunately, Tom had to resign his post uh, on health grounds. Uh, we do, Absolutely. Tom, we wish you a full, a full recovery and a speedy recovery. Um, all the best to you and your family. So uh, to, to Kieran, I, I'm sorry, have we delayed you? No, not at all. No, no. Um, Thanks for hanging in there. It was a bit. It was a bit tough at times. <laughs> it was a bit tough at times. But we started. At least we started with all the all the positive stuff. And yeah. William Grace. Thanks for joining us. And Karen, we hope to have you back uh, again and again and again. And hopefully, we'll have a committee in place soon that will uh, start working on a statue to honor to honor William, uh, to Trudy, and to Evan. Thanks for joining us. Evan, you, you may you may keep coming now and, and doing the news and the sports with us. I have no problem with that. You're, you're a natural. You're a natural. It's great to see it. Uh, to Hannah, watching at home. Hannah, again, your hands are tied. I mean, it's, Hi, it's just broadband. Hi, Hannah. You're 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 badly missed. Um, um, politicians, please. She's going to be another Claire Byrne. Uh, sort out the broadband. It's just ridiculous, beyond ridiculous. To our wonderful viewers. If you have any suggestions for future programs, let us know. Email us, WhatsApp us, DM us, PM us, the usual, the usual, the usual. Hope you enjoyed the program tonight. If you want to come on the program, get in touch. No Could I just yeah, keep, point I out know. before I finished? Yeah, of if course. Any, so. Even if anybody wants to voice their opinion on their experience with assessments, etc., that would be a great help. Like, Please. Yeah. yeah, that's a very good point. Do... You do uh, either you're waiting on a, uh, an assessment or you have you, you haven't been told whether you get an assessment or you've gone through the process it would be re really really good for for those parents going through this at the moment all all advice all help all all that knowledge would be helpful um so evan thanks for coming in truly thanks for coming no in to our wonderful viewers thanks for tuning in and of course please 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 subscribe to our youtube channel thank you very much